and they just have to abbreviate course of action. I don't know why that is. Nor do I. Might be some uh, military uh, shit, but I would know. I don't actually know if that is an actual military thing. I have an uncle who's in the military. I don't. Rem he, I've asked him. I think about that. He didn't. He said there. He has never heard about that. And right here, I'm demonstrating the whole save thing. What you're seeing now is my old file, which Nick, has very terrible said. stats, and I doubt the this Let's Play will have any better stats. And after Nick, this thing Melee is talking about, I'm gonna Time probably to reset the game. I'm actually, I'm gonna, gonna reset the game right. and um, well, switch my controls because I did not quotes, deal with, <laughs> well, with this control now. But I would gonna do a smart thing and actually uh, pick a better layout. Yeah, truthfully, I, I don't really like this layout. It's just bad. I'll some quotes with you if you like. So, um, why don't you tell some? So, uh, tell people, tell them about the like voice acting about thing in Twin Snakes. <laughs> well, well, here's the interesting thing. It. In Twin Snakes, you will notice that uh, some of the voice acting has changed, like uh, accents were removed and whatnot. This is actually uh, because uh, you know, according to the original version. The PS1's uh, sound card was uh, actually pretty weak compared to the GameCube's, of course. As a result, with the GameCube's new sound card, you could actually hear traffic in the background because they were recorded it in an apartment. Seriously, Konami could not afford a decent uh, <laughs> studio. <laughs> I actually didn't know that. I'm not lying about this. Also, uh, some of the voice actor changes were because of this, because some of them would not come in to re-record their lines. David Hayter had to give up half of his paycheck to re-record everything. That's actually kind of noble of him, though. Or at least decent of him. Yep. He's actually a pretty cool guy, from what I've heard. Yeah. He's appeared on Hot Hey Ash, What You Playing. And, uh, he's, um, actually into a few, uh, lot... I think X plays a uh, video game awards once uh, in costume. Oh, he has? Yep, he actually was in costume as Snake. That is awesome. I need to look that up. Holy shit. I guess no, it was X player Spike, but uh, either way, that was pretty good. So either way, he did that. Yep. Um, right here, I forgot to mention, but when you approach a guard, if you press square repeatedly, that's how you subdue them. In Twin Snakes, I believe the bodies actually do not disappear. I also believe that applies to Metal Gear Solid 2. Yep, that yeah, applies to every game after this one, except for Peace Walker. Um, I think you said something about the footprint, about the guards and the footprints in the snow, right? And also a touch earlier in this game that doesn't appear anywhere else is, a uh, you make tracks in the snow, uh, when you're moving around. They don't notice them follow them. You can actually use this to trick them. I actually did not notice that. He only told me when we were recording that that is actually a thing. And right here we got our first gun, but it's not that useful because we don't have a silencer, so it'll track a lot of noise. Yep, also, so, an interesting fact about the SOCOM. It, it was actually considered way too heavy uh, by uh, the people who used it, and it was uh, discarded pretty quickly. In favor of the USB. I don't know how, but I got my first alert here, and guess what? It actually worked out to my benefit, as you're gonna see here. Although it's weird that even though I got seen again there, it, it didn't matter. Yeah, sometimes the, the guards are um, uh, pretty damn blind. Yeah, the guard right there didn't notice me. I don't know why, but he didn't. Uh, the reason why that benefited me was because over there, the, that guard, I believe, is supposed to be guarding this little, uh, crawl hole, and, um, usually I make noise to get him away, but because I had the alert, I got him away anyway, so, uh, I'm not complaining, I'm actually still surprised that that helped me. And here we will see my first policy as a guide. No, that's not yet. Don't worry, they'll find out. Yep. Also, this, um... To keep with the stealth theme, we've actually come up with code names. DJ's code name is Alfred or Butler, and um, tell them my code name. Batman or Nightwing. We will also allow the nickname of Super Kami Guru Batman or Super Kami Guru, Super Kami Guru Batman Nightwing. Yes. This is because, as you'll see, DG really kind of well, Alfred kind of lied to me a bit. Well. 
rather he didn't mention something that really would have been nice to know. And right here, I'm kind of confused on where to go in the vents because last time I played this game was back during Coveronic X when I was kind of prepping for um, to let's play this because originally we were going to do that, but a lot of shit came up. Um, that's explained in the update video that came along with this after Sly Cooper. It was mostly nice. just. This is McDonald. Oh Mills. my God! It's been a long time, Master. TG, me, Alfred. It's Duke Nukem. So I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in Yes, it is. Like you. This is uh, Master so Miller. He's actually a uh, carrier from Alaska Metal Gear Two. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Oh. <laughs> Can you yeah. tell me about the situation here? Master Miller and I is a recurring character in the series. No he appeared in uh, three games. He uh, also appears in well, Peace Walker as well. Well, lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Doesn't he play the same role as the Colonel in Peace oh, Walker? If he uh, plays the same role as the Colonel, except I find it much more useful because frequency, the codec in that game is active. As in, uh, he'll give you uh, his active so you can pause to get to him. Wait, active as in, like, in real time, like, if you're moving and he'll be talking to you? Yep, uh, occasionally the Kodak uh, thing will uh, pop up and uh, he'll uh, speak to you. That's uh, something that Odon uh, did in uh, 4 as well. I should learn from them. But oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's uh, pretty. It's uh, pretty neat. Uh, uh, people who probably play from the game and who just kind of piss people the survival off. Survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Not pretty, sure why that is, program, huh? or how that would piss anyone off. So it's better than having a pause. And exit somewhere. Follow the mice. some, I think. Wait. Um. Does it still pause in some sequences? The codec. Well, in uh, four, four, uh, some of them it, it will. Only in a few, um... Uh, so you all know, I've played Metal Gear Solid 3 on the 3DS, but I've not played any game besides this and the original, which is kind of sad. I might get the HD collection, but I have other priorities like Ratchet and Clank, so... Yeah, if you guys want to see it, tell me and I'll consider it. It'll probably be happen at some point, I can say that much. But to anyone who wants to get into the series, the HD question is a very good starting point. Yeah, this, um, like Assassin's Creed, the first game in the series, well, there were two games before this, but we'll go into detail about that later. Uh, the first game isn't really that good a starting point, actually. Yeah, it's a, it's a very archaic by this point, and uh, the only ways you can get it uh, have either A, very old and clunky controls, or B, game-breakingly easy controls. Use the elevator to your mileage may vary, basically. There be a cargo elevator yep. that you can take down somewhere around there. I personally like the game, but it took me way too long to get used to the controls for my liking. Yeah, truthfully, like this isn't because I grew up with the game with the series, but Crash and Spyro has aged pretty well. Because like I can still get into them easily, but then again, they were a far more simple, but. Like, a few PS1 and N64 games did age well, a few of them didn't. Obviously, as you can guess, we both agree that Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask did age well. But some games like this, and others like Medieval, didn't really age well. Wait, did we explain that under, um, cameras there is a blind spot? Yep. Also, this is where I dropped the ball. Yeah, see? I thought that you could, um, you can actually get thermal goggles here, and this is the only time in the game where you can get them this early. I think later on you'll have to come back for them when you get a, um, I think key card. I think so too. It's just been a, it's been a very long time since I've uh, played this game, though. I'm also being kind of cautious here. As you can see, like, I'm kind of stopping between, because again, I don't really remember this. And I'm gonna be even more cautious, and you guys are gonna see why that is. Yep. See, after you get the thermal goggles, there's nothing else of use. But Alfred didn't tell me. Yep. <laughs> Instead, he just let me go around. He acted like nothing was wrong. And I had, and I basically kind of wasted mine, and I guess yours, the viewers, this time. One thing did come out of it, which you'll see, besides um the chaff grenades, which Alfred explained to them what the chaff grenades do. Basically, it disables all of the electronics 
It's very good against uh, anything that uh, uses a, a radar to detect you, and it'll be, and it will save your ass in the end game. It is it's a godsend against the final boss. I could not have beaten him if I didn't have it. Also, in extreme mode, they are a valuable commodity. Also, I think that all the time that uh, you turn back here, I think you should uh, cut that part out just to save some of yours this time. Eh, maybe I'll cut it out. Maybe I won't. After, um, you're gonna see the plus side to Alfred misleading me in right here. Yep, he actually missed a cutscene. Huh? I moved the dark machine to the cell in the first floor basement. What about the vent shaft cleaning? They just opened the vent covers. I'm about to start spraying for rats. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those covers as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. Say he's using stealth, too. Stealth? There's an intruder besides me? Anyway, I want you to increase the security detail on the chief. And I'm gonna leave this in so that you guys can basically see... Uh, this is actually another way into the base. I think Snake himself points out that you can go on the... Um... Second floor or something, and there's a vent. Of course, Alfred didn't bother to tell me that. I could believe it or not, he knew this, and he let me go through. Uh, I don't realize much too late. No, you knew what you were doing. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, now, for anyone who wants to use doing this for the first time, I do not recommend uh, using Roger's method. But... What? what? I said something. It's fine, I know my name. Ah, anyways. That, that man's, uh, method, uh, is very haphazard, because I think that you risk waking that guard up. You actually are supposed to wake the guard up in order to get him away. I find that it works well, but, eh, it's really up to you. I think there's a third entrance, I'm not sure. Not that big door, but I think a third vent. I don't actually know. Alfred could confirm, but he might lie again, so who knows? Actually, I highly doubt that because uh, there were only three entrances in a, a very spoiler with the fifth thing in uh, the fourth game. Into a base similar like the, the to this. Yep. That's massive spoilers, though, and I'm not talking about that. Yeah, we're not gonna spoil things. Well, Alfred does know, um. Uh, more about the series than me, because he's actually what got, he actually got me into the series. But um, well, right here we're gonna have the most pointless codec conversation in the entire game. Press the action button to drop down. Thanks, Colonel. We couldn't have done it without you. In my mind, the Colonel is still very much absolutely uh, worthless as an advisor. Yeah, he is actually. He quote unquote improves and. Metal Gear Solid 2, we're not going to spoil why. Um, some of you guys may know, but again, I really would rather you guys not spoil it for the viewers. I don't care, but I don't want the viewers to have that spoiled. Also, for misleading me, Alfred, I'm docking your pay. No, yeah, but I'm already paying to work for you. No, you're not. How are you paying me? That's a good point. You see what I put up every day, people? But yes, in uh, the Twin Stakes, you could really hang off with those. Which would definitely save a lot of time. Yep. Now you can take a little damage on the way down, but... You do? Yep, because, uh, it, dumb. because of the height. I think they may raise the height a bit to, like, in, uh, discourage it. Also... But also, here is our second one of the game upcoming right around here. You had to spoil it. Truthfully, I don't even know how this alert really happened. Uh, I was surprised that that guard actually came up there because I do not recall him really doing that. And Well, thankfully I had the rations equipped, but I didn't have to really use them. Um, you can hide under the tanks. 
I was still really surprised that happened. That is kind of rare and stuff. But I think we actually have something interesting that happens after the evasion goes off. Uh, that guard over there? He moves pretty fast. I don't know why. Like, after the alert, he's suddenly moving pretty fast. I think it's because, I think, uh, in hindsight, it was because of the glitch. Originally, I said that some guards will move faster than others. I was wrong. I did my research. It's a glitch. Really? I think so. Yeah, I've no- I- um, we didn't see that other guard moving fast either, I don't know, it was weird. Mm, well, either way, the guards in this game are down in the sense that they will not check on their objects to look through- look for you. In later games, they stop- they stop with that well, motion. They will check on- they will check one specific object, which some of you people will probably know what we're talking about in a bit. But, other than that, uh, Alfred is completely correct. For, for genetically enhanced soldiers, these guys are brain dead. I always forget that they're actually genetically enhanced solely for the reason you you said. It's in the briefing videos, and if you want to see those, just look them up because I don't think we're going to show those off. I uh, probably won't. Look yeah, at just look those up on YouTube. He's they're everywhere. The and even if they aren't, the we should discover can. them. Uh, most people don't trust game-based wikis. And Red, we have the DARPA chief, but he can't hear me knocking on his wall. Sad is faced. And right here, I'm just showing off the first floor. I really do wish we didn't have those technical problems happen, because the live recording was a lot better. Yeah, I agree there. Hopefully, uh, the next uh, entry will be live. And every entry after that. It should be. I mean, I've checked and hey, none of the problems are happening. Like, basically, Skype was lowering my mic and I think ladder. it was doing that to DG. I don't know. All I know is that he's having no mic problems now and we're not. And I'm not either. And that's fine with me. I ain't complaining. I ain't even mad, bro. Also, we show something rather in- I show something rather interesting here that I didn't even know about. Oh my god. Oh god damn it, Kojima! Oh god damn it! I swear, he's like catering to the fangirls at every opportunity. What about us, the fanboys? Wait until my- Wait until my Metal Gear Solid 2, there's plenty of that there. Oh my freaking god, that is actually why Raiden exists, you know that? It's the fan girls. Yeah, basically some girl messaged, um, sent a mail. This might actually be false, I kind of doubt it, but... Um, basically a girl sent a mail to Kojima saying she doesn't want to play as some old man. Which is weird because Snake probably is like 40, not even 30 years. How old is Snake in this game anyway? He's in his early 40s by this game. Well, he doesn't really look that old either way. Um, anyway, but they're basically claiming they want to play as an old man, and that's how writing comes in. I'm- we're not even gonna comment any further than that, that's just all you guys need to know. Bring the fangirls. We're not sexist people, we just hate fan people. Like fanboys and fangirls. Exactly. Oh my god, you actually heard that? Yep. <laughs> I'm impressed. I really did think you would. At the time this computer was made, it had an excellent sound card. Snake, the DARPA chief signal is I'm, re I'm really legit surprised you heard that, because I was like as, drop down, as quiet as can be. First -person view mode. 